Following the ouster of President Hosni Mubarak, thousands of protesters packed Cairo's Tahir Square for what they called a second revolution. CNBC's Yusuf Gamal El Din is in Cairo and he has the latest for us. Yusuf? Well, it's been a very tense day. It is now about 7 p.m. Cairo local time, and protesters are still in the square. Thousands have streamed in here. The numbers might have lessened somewhat, but there's still a lot of anxiety because, remember, the military pulled out of the square. They're leaving the security to the protesters, and some are worried that violence could flare up. We did see a little fight break out earlier in the day. What are their grievances, though, and why talk of a second revolution? They see the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces as not doing a good enough job when it comes to to the transition. Remember, Egypt also needs some financing, some $12 billion by the middle of next year. We've heard a lot of the foreign pledges, including from U.S. President Barack Obama, the World Bank and Saudi Arabia, and new pledges from the G8 as well. Whether that will be enough remains to be seen. Some are skeptical of a lot of the conditions that are set to that. Keep an eye out for some of those ETFs, though, on your side today. Yosef, thank you so much.